Hard to believe you got a big old fire like that on a day where so many of us dealt with ice. Right now, we're dealing with rain across eastern Kentucky. Pinpoint Doppler still picking up on a little bit of light precipitation, mainly in the form of just a little plain rain. Flood warnings continue until 930 for most of us in all the counties in the dark green, a little bit earlier than that in our West Virginia and Virginia counties. I want to go to some video real quick uh, from our Facebook page. We received this a little earlier in the day, and this is showing a uh, ice jam. Now, this is what helped cause a lot of the flooding today. Uh, notice this, the river and creek there completely jammed up with ice. The water backs up, and that's what causes the flooding. Uh, I was talking with some of my friends over at the Weather Service, and they said it's been since 1918 where we've had widespread ice jams like this in eastern Kentucky. Almost 100 years. Uh, that, that's the early look at the records. They're going to go a little bit more in detail tonight, see if they can't find another instance of that. But uh, wow, something you don't see too often here in the mountains. We go back to Pinpoint Doppler now, and you can see the rain almost done here in eastern Kentucky. Wrapping up around the I-75 corridor right now, Big Sandy Valley. Give this about another three or four hours, and it'll be on out of here. Total rainfall today, generally around two to three inches, uh, especially back off to the west and southwest down in the Cumberland Valley. That's where we saw some of the heavier rain uh, earlier in the day. Temperatures right now mid to upper 30s. You can see a little decent band of rain through uh, portions of Johnson County, Floyd County, Martin County, down into northern Pike County, back over to Mingo and Logan County, West Virginia. We will see the rain taper off as we go throughout the next several hours and uh, see those temperatures stay generally in the 30s. Watch out for a few slick spots if you have to be out tomorrow morning. We're going to see the air temperature drop back down to near freezing. Pavement temperature below freezing right now, so some black ice definitely not out of the realm of possibility. Highs tomorrow in the upper 30s. Unfortunately, it looks like that's going to be about the last day for the next several days we go above freezing. So we'll melt a little bit more of that snowpack tomorrow, but not much. And then we're back into the teens Monday morning. Might see a snow flurry or two Sunday night, but uh, those chances looking smaller with every passing model run. And then we're going to see highs in the 20s as we go into uh, Sunday, or excuse me, uh, into Monday. Future view rain, not much. We're pretty much done at this point, for folks. Maybe an additional tenth to two tenths of an inch. Cold again Monday. Tuesday, partly sunny and cold. A low of five. Temperatures remain very, very below average. Keeping a very close eye on Wednesday, though. That's our next potential for snow. Southern storm system, still a lot of questions. I know everybody's tired of hearing that, but uh, Steve, it, it seems like we've got the worst of winter in about the course of a week. It, it, last winter it was spread out over several months. Yeah. This winter it's just been one week of pure frozen chaos. <laughs> and hopefully it's over. I'm hoping so, but uh, we're at least staying cold about yeah. the next seven days. We'll have to wait and see on that snow chance. A week to remember for sure, Shane. Thank you very much. And thank you so much for joining us tonight. We hope you have a great Sunday and have a chance to dry out a little bit. Let's